Hello everybody, welcome to Dakman Productions and welcome to the New Jersey Exposition Center here in Edison, New Jersey. Ready for another great Greenberg train show and uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> and uh, it's been a, I appreciate you guys uh, coming up to me saying hello during these uh, train show events I go to and attend. And thank you guys for uh, tuning in to my channel. And to uh, support, it's important that we support these events and the vendors and the hobby shops and just to keep the hobby going. Um, also wanted to touch on one of my biggest complaints that I get on my videos, which is, uh, seems to be a lot of complaints uh, with the music in the background. And I just wanted to touch on that subject real quick. So the point being, of playing music in the background is so the vendors don't can continue to conduct their business and privacy meaning that if there's a customer and they're giving out information credit cards zip code whatever whatever talking is going in the background they know that's not going to make it to video because I ensured all the vendors at these shows that I will always play music so their conversations are not being recorded. It's a privacy thing, and it's very important uh, that they know that I'm gonna follow through with it, because that's my word that I give, and that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do, play music in the background so private conversations are not being recorded. Also, customer information is not being recorded. They don't have to stop conducting business just because I'm there they can continue knowing that nothing will make it on video as far as any kind of information so I just wanted to touch on that real quick and if you don't like my choice of music well just mute the video and pipe in your own but I'm not stopping uh, for the reasons that I just mentioned so at any rate let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy the uh, Edison train show today, the Greenberg train show, and let's go. Hey, who's this guy? Oh, hey, Sean, <laughs> how you doing? Good, What's good. What's going on? Good. So you shop for trains for yourself as well? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. What kind of TCA member would have ever did shop for trains for myself? <laughs> huh? Absolutely. So we've got to make sure the membership is happy. Right. We've got to make sure your YouTube people are happy. And you got to make sure I'm happy. Because I can be a cranky bitch. <laughs> TCA is not here. All right. Um, just met get down there. You can see you, you all the products. New stuff is there. Oh, new stuff is there. New huh? stuff is there. So I'll have to dive check. right into Stu. There you he'd go. Be, he'd be waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Where else are we going to be next? TCA next will be in Cleveland, World's Greatest Hobby. Oh, okay. You'll be there too. All yes. Right. TCA will have tables at World's Greatest Hobby in Cleveland, which I believe is the end of this month, 25th. I will be there. Uh, the office will be there. Okay. And actually, Stu and Andy are going to be there, but don't tell them I told you. Okay. But they will be there. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Good to see I you. keep going. All right. We'll see, see you. you guys. <laughs> 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 Here he is at the Mecca table. Yeah. Metropolitan Division, TCA. What's better? There you go. With all the good stuff we got, Sean. All right, we're gonna have to check you guys. Dive on in. Dive on. I'll leave you to it. All right. So we are here with Stu from Mecca at the Greenberg Edison Train Show, and uh, it was only two weeks ago that we saw you, right? That's right. Two weeks ago in Allentown. Okay, and since Allentown, you gave us some insider info. So what do you got for us today? Wait, Sean, we just said it was only two weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah. How could we come up with any new product in two weeks? Well, you never know with Mecca. Hmm. <laughs> you might be on to something. Well, since you brought it up, let's yeah. go ahead and start. First of all, I do just want to say, I don't know if people know this about this, 
about us. We don't just do custom-run products. Metka runs our own train show. Now, Dakman has been at our train show many, many times. And Sean, we didn't rehearse this, so I don't want to put you on the spot. But And you can just give me a nod, yes, or shake your head no behind the camera. April 6th, do you have any idea if you're going to be there? I'll be there. Oh, okay, cool. So, guys, if you do want to come and see Sean and hang out with Dakman, April 6th, Rutherford, New Jersey, which is right up North Jersey, right next to the Meadowlands, uh, uh, the Giants and Jets football stadium, MetLife Stadium. You can almost see it from where the train show is. Um, it's a great day. You have the train show that go back and review prior videos that Sean has done. Right down the street, literally a block or two away, is the New York Society of Model Engineers. We partner with them on the show. Again, review prior Dakman videos because he's gone there. But you can get into the New York Society of Model Engineers free on the day we run our train show because we partner with them. Anybody that goes to the train show in the morning can just walk right down the hill to uh, New York Society of Model Engineers. They're actually coming up on their, I think, 100th anniversary next year. So they're really excited about what they have in store. Wow. And it's always a fun time at the Mecca show. And the uh, New York Society of Model Engineers. We like to have fun. Um, okay, so now that that sales plug is over, um, we saw these out in Allentown. So, yes, you know, I think I've touched on things actually do take a long time to progress. Yes. Um, it takes a long time to get projects through development and design. And so we're always at various different stages of our projects. Some are just the idea and we've sent it to a manufacturer. Sometimes we have artwork and sometimes we have final images. So you want to hear about these? Go back to the prior video Sean did two weeks ago from Allentown. What we didn't talk about at Allentown, um, I don't think we talked about these, the Halloween and the Christmas box car. I don't remember that. Okay, so we're doing two custom run Lionel A5 040 steam locomotives. One in a Christmas scheme decorated for the Silver Hooves Railway. One in a Halloween scheme decorated for the Transylvania Railroad, the Black Widow's route. Oh, wow. So those we announced a long time ago, but that tooling was the old K-Line tooling that there were some issues and Lionel's retooled them. So they'll be out later this year. But those are cute, diminutive, small little locomotives. So what we decided to do to match those locomotives, come out with a pair of boxcars. So if you like Christmas boxcars, this is gonna be wicked cool. If you like Halloween boxcars, this matches your Halloween trains. If you purchase one of our um, 040 steam locomotives, these are gonna be really neat match to it. So we're taking orders on these now and they're due the end of the year. These are, these are part of Lionel's made in the USA or decorated in the USA um, boxcars. Are those limited as well? Yeah, we've already put our quantities in uh, to Lionel on the order on these. So it's, it's first come, first served. We just put them on the website recently. So for now, we're doing good on quantity. Later this year, will probably be a different story. So Sean, I just showed you the order form, the virtual images on that piece of paperwork I have. But on this one, we actually have physical samples already. As I mentioned, the cars aren't due in until the end of the year. But Lionel on these cars sends us a sample so that we can approve them prior to going into full production. So here's our Silver Hooves Railway. Gold roof and ends matches some of the details on the 05 locomotive. Silver trucks matches the silver trucks on the uh, tender of that um, Christmas steam locomotive. But again, we just carry all of the um, design features of the A5 through here. The snow drifts and peak at the top, the reindeer motif, um, so the deco scheme on this very much um, replicates the scheme on the tender of the steam locomotive. Same thing with the Transylvania rail lines, the Black Widow route matches very closely the tender graphics there. Um, some fun little features here, you got the beady little red eyes poking out between the boards on the boarded up door. So again, just because you see me holding these physical samples, these are not in stock yet. This is just the first pre-production deco sample um, to confirm the decoration. These have now both been approved and uh, they'll go into production over the summer. They're in the production sequence 
um, because as I said, we turned in our quantity in production this summer probably, so delivery early fall. We should be getting these in September because we want to have these in hand by York in October so everybody can get their Halloween car and their Christmas car in October. All right. So I just wanted to show you that little sample because sometimes they look so much better the real car instead of that virtual computer generated image. That's for sure. We got a few more things. Let's go and talk about them. Okay. Another one I want to play a little game with so I don't reveal it all at the same time. All right. So we're going to go kind of fast on these because we have a million new products that we just made public. Not on our website yet. The webmaster has the image in the past two weeks since Allentown. This stuff I did not have at Allentown. So Lionel Milk Reefers. Um, in conjunction with the Lionel 2024 Volume 1 catalog, right. their Scale Milk Reefer, we're doing a Lehigh Valley Milk Reefer. This is, again, as near prototypical as, as we reasonably can make it to an actual real-life Lehigh Valley milk car. I think they had two or three different ones painted like this. The Lehigh Valley ones in real life were a little bit longer. I think they were like 50 or 52 or 3 foot cars. These are 40 foot cars. But other than the length, this is uh, matching the uh, prototype of the Lehigh Valley Milk Reaper. Interesting. So, you care to see what's behind the pink paper? Yes. Oh. Entomins. You know Metka loves Entomins. Oh, our, yeah. our, our, our relationship with Entomins Man. has been a really cool one. That is sharp. Entomins scale milk reefer. Again, the nice thing about this is while most of our Entomins items were traditional sizes, some of the more recent ones like the maxi stacks and whatnot um, are a little bit larger. So this milk reefer will fit in very, very nicely with that train. Wow. What do you think, Sean? I don't know. Is there one more behind the pink piece of paper? I think there is. All right, if you say so. No way. Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western. You got to be kidding me. So our GP9, our Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western GP9 has been so super popular that we said we got to have some rolling stock to go with it. So, um, Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western Milk Reefer in that gorgeous metallic raspberry purple and the uh, Sun Daisy Yellow. Those are the official colors for those items. So, nice little Milk Reefer there with that gorgeous Aberdeen, Carolina logo. Um, should, should, it's going to match our GP9 really well, the locomotives that Lionel did. So, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go real well. And as you're mentioning all these new products, I'm looking behind you and I'm seeing another uh, new product lineup. So Sean, while you're focusing here, yeah, um, yeah, while you're focusing here, most of our paperwork, if you've ever noticed, we don't waste the back of the paper. Oh, we we utilize the back of the paper. So oh, you're only looking at side one here. Oh, so there's you, another side. You know, there's a side two. So let's flip it over and look at side two. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, you that's that what I'm looking peek. at. So, um, Air Force One. We all know the Bush 4141 diesel locomotive was kind of inspired by the Air Force One paint scheme. We have done. We did an Air Force One SD70 ACE. While the background paint looks very similar to Bush 4141, the lettering on it matches the Air Force One airplane. So um, we did the SD70, we've done Air Force One tank cars, we still right. have them on the table, both road numbers which match the tail numbers on the airplane, we've talked about that before. Lionel has done a Bush 4141 caboose, but that's almost impossible to find, so we're doing an Air Force One bay window caboose, scale bay window caboose. Again, in conjunction with the Lionel 2024 Volume 1 catalog. While the caboose wasn't cataloged separately in that catalog, they did have the bay window caboose in their AEC glow-in-the-dark train set. Wow. They had the bay window caboose there, so we went to Lionel and said, hey, you're making the caboose, can we make a caboose in, the, in that paint scheme? Got the green light from them. So this, this caboose will match any of the 
blue, the two-tone blue and white locomotive and rolling stock that's out there. Man, that's going to be a nice one. Should be gorgeous. The silver trucks, it's going to be real nice. So, I talked about how popular our Aberdeen, Carolina uh, locomotive was, and the look on your face when I showed you that milk reefer, I wish the camera was turned around, because Sean's eyes lit up like a little boy on Christmas Day unwrapping his train set from Santa. The colors are gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western PS2 Hopper. Again, just what a natural fit on this one, the way that uh, the, the logo fits in the middle there. Yes. Again, same colors. The lettering just fits with the spacing of the panels on the car. I mean, everything. I mean, just, it looks so gorgeous. It's a natural. Yes. And then uh, labeled for sand service, um, you know, the, the covered hopper there would keep the, uh, the commodity inside right. that's dry. Again, colors are going to match the Aberdeen Carolina locomotive that we have coming out in Lionel already. And this is a pretty exciting announcement for those who collect, because there's a lot of people who collect this particular railroad now. We heard a lot um, from a lot of people when we announced our locomotive. I need I need rolling stock to go with it. They didn't want they didn't want passenger cars, which they can get because Line Ellis catalog them. Go to any dealer if you want your passenger cars. So we said we're going the freight car route. All right. And uh, again, our orders are already in at Line L because the deadline for ordering this has already passed. So we put our quantity in. Um, How many? Some things need to be kept uh, oh. kept kept quiet. How about this? How about the least we could make? Oh. Because we have, I didn't want. I don't want. I don't know how the freight cars are going to go over. I have no idea if the freight well, cars are going to be received well or not. I'm going to tell. You, I'm going to make a prediction. Okay. I'm going to make a prediction that these things are going to be in so high in demand only because I've seen what happened with the LCCA exclusive ones. Yep. Okay. Yep. That on the secondary market, they're going to go for twice the price. So I will say, we are making drastically fewer, drastically fewer milk reefers and hoppers in the Aberdeen Carolina paint scheme than LCCA made on their tank car. They made that LCCA exclusive yes. Aberdeen Carolina tank car. They do not have very many of those left. Right. So if you want to get their tank car, um, you can go to the LCCA website to get their tank car. Get it while it's still available. They have it in stock because we don't plan on doing a tank car. And the I'll difference the is, is your product is scale. Theirs is semi-scale. Semi-scale, not traditional, not right. post-war size. It's that unibody tank car, yeah. which is semi-scale, standard or whatever you want right, to call standard. it. Right, standard. Yeah. But uh, still all in all, great to add to this collection with Mecca. Yep. And then finally on the back of this piece of paper, our last item is our Entenmann's Bay Window Caboose. We get a lot of demand, a lot of requests for cabooses. A few years ago, we did a traditional size GP7 and a small traditional size caboose. Uh, a year ago, we did our Entenmann's 282 uh, Mikado steam locomotive, which is a little bit larger than traditional size, but not scale. Um, we, that we've sold out of. But this caboose will match that really nicely. That steam locomotive we did really nicely. It'll also just match the freight cars. Not everybody wants an Entenmann's locomotive, but they want Entenmann's freight cars and an Entenmann's caboose. So for those people that don't want a locomotive but want a caboose to match their freight cars, we've, uh, we're spot on there with the Entenmann's Bay Window Caboose. <laughs> very, very nice. I, 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 I'm just blown away by these announcements. And I was hoping that within two weeks you were willing to let go a little bit of the secret information. So, <laughs> as you see at the top of the paper, it says coming soon. None of this, what I've just shown you today, Sean, none of it's on our website yet. Oh. Not on our website yet. Some of this information has been sent to the webmaster. Uh-huh. He'll get it online as he has time. Other items that you've seen here... I haven't even sent the information to the webmaster yet, only because there's so many hours in the day. Right. So some of these will be online. 
within a week or two. Some might not be online till April. So basically everybody's seeing it first on Dacman Productions. Exclusive reveal, Dacman Productions. All right. <laughs> um, so we do have some more new product that I haven't shown you here yet. So I guess that's gonna give us a little bit to chat about next time. Um, just to give you an update. A little sneak peek I told you about at Allentown was our E6 locomotive yes, yes. that we're doing. Yeah. Just to let everybody know where that stands, the artwork in the past two weeks since Allentown, the artwork has been finalized. I've approved the artwork. We're just waiting for you know the nice 3D virtual image where it sits on the track. Um, so hopefully we'll get that within a couple weeks. And then we'll have uh, we'll have another double-sided sheet of paper to talk about the next time we see each other. All right, and just by based on the comments from that video announcement in Allentown, people are pretty excited about what this E6 announcement is going to be. Yeah, there's been a lot of chatter about it. But <laughs> for now, Sean, I'm just going to say E6. Okay. We'll, we'll leave any further details to when it's on the website. Well, then I'm going to bug you again at the Mecca train show. Sounds good. And uh -huh. just not to let you down again. This April 6th, you're not going to see me there. Oh. I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to say I'm not doing trains that day. I'm going to be out in Denver, Colorado at the Rocky Mountain Toy Train Ooh. Show. That one, I, it's kind of a cross between York and the Amherst Big E Show. Kind of mix those two together. And then it's the biggest show west of the Mississippi that I'm aware of. Nice. Yeah, so I'm going to be out there. TCA is going to have a booth out there. So I'm going to be assisting there. Lionel's out there. So, you know, I've got another couple projects that I like to talk about in person with them. So I'll be out there doing some business. And who knows, the way that turns out, maybe at York I'll have some more new announcements to make. All right. Well, I'll definitely see you there. Sounds good, Sean. All right. We'll catch you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.